Hello, I'm Richard Larrington. Well, I've got something really interesting for us all to contemplate. It's 2023 and there's an awful lot of conversation going on at this moment in time about having rollover sheets on trailers and carrying grain and rape and sugar beet and everything down the road and that you're getting stopped and people are saying, where's your rollover sheet? What I thought it was important to do is to give you the rundown of exactly how it should be. Now, in my hand, I have the Road Vehicle Construction and Use Regulations 1986, and the regulation that all these people are going on with is Regulation 100, that's here, Section 2, which is there, which I'm now going to read to you. The load carried by a motor vehicle or trailer shall at all times be so secured if necessary by physical restraint other than its own weight and be in the such a position that neither danger nor nuisance is likely to be caused to any person or property by reason of the load or any part thereof falling or being blown from the vehicle or by reason of any other movement of the load or any part thereof in relation to the vehicle. Now just to recap Nuisance is a big word. You can't have something that causes a nuisance to the road users. You can't have anything that falls off a trailer and you can't have anything that blows off the trailer. Now that's many things. If you drive down the road with a trailer which has got rape in and the wind blows and it whips the rape out, that's a nuisance and it's falling off the trailer. That's why you need a rollover sheet. But if the load in the trailer is below the level of the sides, e.g. sugar beet for instance, and it isn't going to blow off, then you probably don't need a rollover sheet. In the case of straw, you do need some means of both containing that load and stopping it blowing down the road. In this case, we are designing a brand new trailer here for you to look at, which is going to be used for carrying boxes, in specific cabbage boxes, that can be used simply to retain the load by utilising the sides of the trailer. So what I'm now going to do is shut that book and I'm going to start the tractor and show you how this trailer works. Okay, so now you can see what we've actually done. Basically, we've hinged both sides of the trailer from the front and the back. And there's a reason for that. That when you lift the side up in the air, you are able to load quickly on and load quickly off with a fork truck. But when the side comes down, you can see there are these retaining lugs in the middle of the trailer. There's actually four of them, front, middle and rear. And as the side comes down, it slides down into all of these hooks, hooks itself in there, so it's held here. The difference being that other people's trailers start from the bottom and rotate to the side, but actually they've no hold here with the load at all. Whereas this system, as it comes down, clamps the load in, traps it, you're not relying on hydraulic pressure or anything, it is fastened in there and it is safe. That's really important. We've sheeted the trailer because for some people who want to take straw, that's important it stays dry, particularly for special horses, then you put your straw bales on, clamp it in. The centre frame is there for a reason because at the moment we're going to put boxes in and we didn't want to push the boxes from this side to that side so the customer asked for a frame in the middle. So with straw we could take that out and so you could go from one side to the other, but the boxes at the minute will be retained in here. It's quick, there's no straps, you simply put it in, come out, clamp down, job done. Now you have to make your own opinion of this because it's a big step forward and it's up to you to understand whether you want to comply to the law that I've told you. 
but I do believe there's going to be more restrictions on what we carry down the road in the farming world as we go on. This would retain straw, it's not going to blow down the road, it's going to retain boxes, and nobody can see what's in the trailer. That's a benefit. And the last, if you want to put a smile on your face, here you have, you've got an onboard stage for the local disco. Thank you for looking at the video. Thank you for looking at our trailer. We want as many comments as we can have, please. Uh, and we're really interested in talking to you. This is the sort of kit that we should, should have when we're carting things down the road. Thank you.